never saw a fellow treat any one sweller. There was a fat man sitting beside the little girl that had looked at me twice by this time and I at her, both blushing. And what did he do but have the nerve to turn and ask the fat man to get up and change places with me so I could sit with his crowd? Excuse me, could you leave? Of course. themselves, and the fellow himself was named Mr. Wilbur Wesson, and his sister was Miss Lucy Wesson. I suppose it was their having such swell names that got me off my trolley. A fellow, just because he has been a swipe with a racehorse and works taking care of horses for a man in the teeming delivery and storage business, isn't any better or worse off than anyone else. I've often thought that and said it too. But you know how a fellow is. There's something in that kind of nice clothes and the kind of nice eyes she had and the way she looked at me a while before over her brother's shoulder and me looking back at her and both of us blushing. I couldn't show her up for a boob, could I? I made a fool of myself, that's what I did. I said my name was Walter Mathers from Marietta, Ohio. And then I told all three of them the smashingest lie you ever heard. What I said was that my father owned the horse about Ben Ahem and that he had let him out to this Bob French for racing purposes because our family was proud and had never gone into racing that way. In our own name, I mean. And Miss Lucy Wesson's eyes were shining, and I went the whole hog. I told about our place down at Marietta, and the big stables and the grand brick house we had up on a hill over the Ohio River. Our family hasn't got any barrel factory, and since I have known us, we've always been pretty poor. But I'm not asking of anyone at that. train come in and she got on it and Wilbur Wesson he come and shook hands with me and that Miss Woodbury was nice too and bowed at me and I at her and the train went and I busted out and cried like a kid. I'll bet you what if I had an arm broke right now or a train had run over my foot I wouldn't go to no doctor at all. I'd go sit down and let her hurt and hurt. That's what I'd do. I'll bet you what if I didn't drunk I drunk that booze I'd have never been such a boob as to go tell a lie that could never be made straight to a lady like her.